Well, new at 11, a mom in Cleveland welcomed her fifth child into the world a little differently than her first four. Catlin Davis couldn't make it to the hospital. She was forced to give birth in her car on the side of the road. Our Mary Frances Hoots spoke with the parents and the paramedic who showed up to help. She joins us in the studio with their story. Mary Frances. Greg, the mom thought it was a normal day. She wasn't supposed to be induced for two more days, but then she suddenly got severe contractions, and the next thing you know, they're on the phone with 911 and on their way to the hospital. That is the 911 call from Tuesday night, moments before Catlin Davis and John Mons welcomed their fifth child, Lillian, into the world. It was anything but calm up to that point. We didn't get but, uh, what, five minutes down the road before we had to pull over because uh, she had started coming out. And I put my hand over and I felt the baby's head and that's when I knew we had to get her out because she was already on her way. Mons quickly got off the road at the Applegate Inn on APD 40 in Cleveland. I cut like three or four people off <laughs> getting over to the side of the road. Then. The dad played doctor. I flipped the seat back, and when the seat fell back, it's like the baby just shot out. The mom says it was her most painful birth. I'm pretty sure I pulled muscles <laughs> in my back and then right here because I was holding on to the back of the seat, like the headrest, yeah. because it, I was hurting so bad. The ambulance arrived shortly after, and paramedic Zach Jaggers came to the rescue. When he came to the car, it was like he calmed everything. Jagger says he was just happy to help. Most of the time when someone calls 911, they're having the worst day of their life. You know, somebody is leaving the world and it's not very often that we get to experience a miracle like childbirth out in the field. Both sides are grateful for the other, but the dad says never again. It would have been one and done if that was the first because it was pretty emotional. The mom said both she and baby Lillian and everyone involved are doing just fine, and the dad calls his newest baby their little highway girl. For now, live in the studio, Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.